I will make this short and sweet. My name is Josh, and on top of being a North Bay Python co-organizer, I am the former president and chair of the Open Source Initiative, or OSI. What is OSI? OSI operates behind the scenes for many people, so you could be forgiven for not knowing. Uh, I did not for the first decade and a half of my career in, uh, in tech. OSI is a charitable nonprofit founded in 1998 alongside the coining of the term open source to serve as a standards organization uh, for open source licenses and as a steward of the open source definition, the approved license list, and the processes by which new licenses are vetted. Your employer and your government probably rely on OSI, as do the foundations that serve us all. And it's OSI's work, which I liken to legal infrastructure or legal janitorial work, that makes modern software and development and collaboration possible. Now, I got into web development in the early 2000s working with Drupal and WordPress, and already open source was just the water we swam in. It did not seem remarkable. It didn't even occur to me that something novel was going on, but open source remains a critical hack on a broken copyright system. And indeed, it, is, it was still considered radical not all that long ago. Part of why we don't have to think about open source so much, or OSI, as developers is that uh, they are doing the work quietly often behind the scenes. Now, critically, not only does OSI bring consistency and predictability to licensing, it also fights against open washing by overcapitalized opportunists who want to exploit the marketing cachet of open source without delivering on its promises. Now, part of how OSI does that is by convening other open source foundations, including the Python Software Foundation, through initiatives like the Open Policy Alliance. And yes, for fans of the Expanse, that is the OPA. Uh, through initiatives like that, they can make sure upstream and community side voices are represented in the rooms where it happens, including at standards organizations and in legislative bodies where we just don't have the time to always have eyes and ears. What I love most about OSI is that as a charitable nonprofit with an elected board of directors, it is a community vehicle that is accountable to us and evolves with us. Now, all that said, I have buried the lead. The reason I'm up here talking about OSI is because as of this year, Open Source Initiative and, the op and Open Source itself are celebrating the, their 25th anniversary. Now, I hope you'll join me in celebrating the occasion by becoming a member of OSI. Uh, that doesn't cost anything. Uh, or, if you can, becoming a supporting member of OSI to fund their work and further their work on behalf of all of us. OK, with that said, I have one more very important item of business that I want to share. And this will be partially interactive, so prepare yourself. I want to briefly talk about a dear colleague of mine, of ours, and Sonoma County local, Betsy Wolacheski. Now, Betsy wanted to be here this weekend and uh, couldn't make it, unfortunately. Many of us community organizers knew her first as somebody at O'Reilly Media who was part of the user group program. She would be the ones who would sponsor or send books or show up and support the events. Now, after O'Reilly, she went to the Python Software Foundation where she professionalized the sponsorship program that funds PyCon US, development in the Python ecosystem, and supports events all over the globe, including North Bay Python. Now, most recently, Betsy moved over to the Open Source Initiative and did much the same, applying her skills, her enthusiasm, and experience to bolster OSI's sponsorship program. Seriously, it is hard to overstate the degree to which Betsy's work and dedication and enthusiasm have driven resources upstream and nurtured the socio-technical system that we all benefit from. Why am I talking about Betsy, other than the fact that she's awesome? She recently retired, at the end of last month, in fact. And I think we all owe her a debt of gratitude, whether you knew her directly or not. So if you would, please join me on the count of three shouting out, thank you, Betsy. And we'll make sure that she receives our gratitude with a gift uh, through the video recording. All right, one, two, three. 
Thank you, Betsy. Thank you so much. Hey.